floor length dress. <gasps> oh my gosh, my earrings just fallen out. Today, oh, oh my god, today we were wasted. <laughs> <laughs> First rum punches you've ever had. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's got a cherry in there. You put something in it like called aromatic bitters. Oh, What's that? that? I don't know. It looked like balsamic vinegar. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that. Anyway, let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, that is so strong. Mm. Oh, that's nice. really nice actually. It's really nice. Punchy. <laughs> Blues in the name. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> You're loving the music here. We just come out the hotel for a little walk <laughs> um, to get some acai bowls for lunch. Gone past this place, Sharkies. So when we came to the hotel, someone said we look like sisters. So mum said, <laughs> mum said she doesn't know whether I should be offended or she should be complimented. <laughs> this is our first time on the Bayesian feet. This is amazing. So exciting. Oh, the sand's like powder. So nice. Your face is so red. This lovely man washing the roads just offered to wash the sand off of our feet. And we just stood there and enjoyed the cold water. Me and mum are just getting ready to go out. We've been here since last night and this is obviously the next day. But that is not an appearance I wanted to share with the world to be completely honest with you. I don't know about you mum but I was not feeling my best. No. I don't even really feel my best now but I certainly feel better than I did before. Um, I was meant to curl my hair tonight and I just plugged my hair curler in about 10 minutes ago and it wasn't actually working so I can't do that right now so that's annoying. But um, I'm trying to find somewhere I can place you to show you what I'm wearing. I wonder if this would work. So this is a dress I've got from ASOS. Um, I wanted to like curl these little bits around the front, but like I said, my curler is working and it's like the only hair styling tool I bought with me on holiday. So that's quite worrying. Just ignore the towel in the background. I think it's meant to be like a beach cover up dress. It's a floor length dress. <gasps> oh my gosh, my earrings just fallen out. Is that for real? Oh my God. I mean, obviously I found the earring, but then where's the back to it? I've just put another back in from a different pair of earrings to try and salvage the situation. These are the potato dupe earrings from um, Amazon, which everyone got. I didn't get the silver pair, but Holly did. I just got gold because I love gold. As I was saying, my hair curler has stopped working, so I haven't been able to curl my hair. And I don't know if it's just like the plugs here or something, but I've tried two different plugs, so I don't know. But it does turn on, like the light goes green, but then it just turns off. And no matter how much I press it, it's not working. As I was saying, this is from ASOS. I've had it since, I think, 2018. So a very long time. You can get it in white if it's still available, but it's one of my most favorite things I've ever bought because it obviously flows out from here down, which I think is just one of the most flattering styles. I need to know if this dress is see-through, but I have to slip on. No, probably not see-through. Oh my gosh, that fits there perfectly. How perfect is that? There are quite a few clips you would have seen throughout the day that me and mum filmed. I think maybe four or five clips throughout the day. So we've shown you all sorts of things. I'm just putting in my Zara Red Temptations perfume. We're saying a South Gap Hotel, which is in the area of, of St. Lawrence Gap. And I think the Christ province. Yeah, I don't know if that's a province or 
Yeah, don't know how they do it. The Barbados equivalent of a county in England, I don't know, like Kent or Essex or whatever. But yeah, it's in Christchurch area and we're in St. Lawrence Gap. Hotel's really nice. It's got a couple of sister hotels. I'll try and remember to show you more of what the pool area and stuff is like tomorrow. Oh no, not tomorrow, but later on in the vlog. Tomorrow we're going on a catamaran cruise. This is the situation talking about my Babyliss hair curler. So I press that, the light comes on, but it's meant to stay on and then you press the up button to get the heat which is not working so that's just great um i'm bringing out my little mini red temptations oh, perfume as well to put in my bag i always bring mm -hmm. this one i think is 30 mil yeah most of the popular perfumes that's are i think they do um have a mini version of but like handbag and stuff oh yes yeah, so i've got one here yeah so I've got Red Temptations, Mum's got Golden Decade, she's got the full size and the mini like I have. I've got Perfume and Eau de Toilette. Oh, if I stand back I can show them my dress with you. Oh yeah. Because I was trying to say, like, it's floor length, you know. Mm -hmm. It's got a little slit on the side as well. Is that both sides? Yeah, it's both sides. The place we're going to tonight is called Taboo. It's literally, like, just over the road. So, I don't know what I'm going to be doing about my hair on this holiday because I haven't got a hair curler or a hair straightener. And I don't want to keep washing it. No, all I've got is a diffuser. You know what I could do? What? I'm gonna have to plait my hair. Oh, not yeah. not now, obviously, no. but like tomorrow night or whatever. I'm gonna have to do plaits yeah. and do a lot of sleek styles. Before we go, Amy. Oh yeah. No, it's not turned on though. Well, well I'll just I'm not happy going. I was hoping that maybe the light will stop working, but they're still gonna heat up. But mm. it doesn't appear to be happening. Oh, oh my gosh! It? Last night when we got when we got into the room. Sorry, mom. Oh. I was just gonna say the shower wasn't. No, there's no hot water coming oh, out. Embarrassing. Well, there was hot water coming out, but I waited for five minutes in that shower on either side of the twisty thing, and it didn't, it wasn't hot. So then we had to ask him to come up and do it, and then he made it work instantly and didn't do anything different to what I did. <laughs> yeah. However, that was quite embarrassing. My mother did say to her, Have you pulled it that way yeah, and I left it on ages? But clearly, oh, I she, had. Yeah, not long enough though, Amy. You should have let me do it. Well, I'm not being funny, but why should you have to stand in the shower for more than five minutes for it to get hot? Mm. Anyway, That's not acceptable, is it? I need your opinion on something once that's turned off. Today? Oh. oh my God, today. So, I love an acai bowl. I don't know if I've said that on the channel, but I love an acai smoothie bowl. And there's loads, well, there's about three places near here that do I'm them. I'm going to sit down and the one that's the story. Well, the one that... <laughs> The one that's meant to be the nicest I wanted to go to, which was called Barry something, but then it also said it was called Epic Surf Cafe, and that's the only viable Instagram the location only I could thing find. About it was that we couldn't find it. Yeah, so I clicked on the, you know, on a profile on Instagram, you click on the location, it just takes you to maps and like directs you there, walking distance. It said 20 minutes. Okay, I lied to Mum, said it was 10 minutes. Is that actually. what you'd like to me? See? But it was so quick, the we walk. We did that in Verona, not Verona. Well, like the, the walk was quick, but it felt long because it was so hot. Was we got there, it said you were here, we were definitely not anywhere near anything resembling an acai bowl place. So then, we, I noticed, because I follow someone on Instagram called Victoria something, and I remembered that she said there's loads of these random reggae local buses blasting music, like minivans, completely white with a red strap. I'll try, and if I see one, I'll try and record it to show you. And they all, if you were just walking around, even if you look like you know where you're going, they're just like, do you want to get on, do you want to get on? And if I hadn't seen this on this Instagram, I would think, what's going on there, that's dodgy. But it was fine, it's, you know, and basically it's like an official bus service. For three years. Or maybe it's unofficial bus service. So we saw these buses, we got on, it was 3 50 for an adult and like 50 cent for whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it. Um, for children, not that applicable to us. So we both got on, and I showed him I wanted to go, and he said, yeah, okay, that's fine. But he showed, he looked as in like, oh yeah, I know what that is, that's fine. Got on, 15 minutes later, bear in mind, we were meant to be already here, so it must, can't be much further down the road. We just thought he'd help us get there. And yeah, anyway, <laughs> he drove so far down the road. And then there's another bus that was white with the red stripe on, and he basically flagged them down and kind of just was like, you get on theirs. And we were like, why? And I think, I think he basically was trying to say, oh, we've gone past it accidentally, whoops, sorry. And I was like, oh, okay. Then we got on this bus, second bus, and then um, he tried to make us pay again when we'd literally just paid. And then these three women behind us were like saying in, saying to them like, I couldn't really quite understand what they were saying, but they were saying like, no, you don't make them pay again. Um, They've already paid, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember. Basically, it was sticking up for us. We didn't have to pay twice and be scammed. So that was good. Um, but yeah, he still made us get out. 
or he wanted to make us get out somewhere where it clearly wasn't so we were just like look please just take us back to our hotel so we was out of the house for about two hours just walking around aimlessly in the heat for about an hour <laughs> and then on this random reggae bus it was funny, but we were so hot and thirsty and starving. We'd not eaten anything, and it was like 2.30. Yeah, but we did stop at the beach on the way back. Oh, yeah. So then we got out and finally was like, oh, our hotel's in touch with distance. We can get some food there instead. Um, when we did that, we passed a little beach, which is next to the Primo restaurant, which we're going to go to, I think, tomorrow night, so we'll show you that. Um, and it was the first time we'd like set foot on any of the beaches in Barbados, and the the the, the sand was literally like powder. It was, powder. It was so amazing. Oh, wait, I think I filmed a bit. You'll have seen earlier. Oh, it was so lovely. And then we just walked back to our hotel. The man washed our feet. I think I showed you that. We got to the hotel and we ordered like a steak sandwich and these like battered panko breadcrumb prawn things, and it was just delicious and. Food is very yeah. good here. Yeah. And then we just chilled out for a stay, got caught in a bit of rain, didn't we? About five minutes. I've been reading a really good book, which I'll tell you about later. I should just tell you now, it's called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, which is obviously a really old book, but meant to be amazing. I really like it, but it is a little bit, you know, I feel like it's unfavorable to the man, you know? Like, oh, oh when men do this, don't be so hard on them because they're only a man. Funny enough, the book's written by a man. But anyway, moving on from that, it's been a great day. Things I do on the hunt for an acai bowl apparently <laughs> are unmatched. A nude lied to me. Well, it was, what, 10 minutes? We told her the most important thing. What? My birthday, aren't they? Yeah, Mum's birthday. Well, today's Friday and Mum's birthday's on Sunday. We've got all plans for that and everything, so that'd be nice. But yeah, tonight we're going to Taboo, T-A-B-U. Which is literally just across from our hotel. I didn't realise that until the time when I booked it, but we're going to go there, we're going to eat, and then see what happens. But we've got our catamaran cruise thing tomorrow. Yeah. Last time I went on a boat, we got really wasted, didn't we? Yeah. In like Lake Garda. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
delicious. As Evelyn, little Evelyn would say, delicious. Oh, bless her, she's so cute. Are you enjoying your banana bread huh? and rum punch? Banana, I think it's banana bread, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Stop laughing! I don't think you did. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to look like that in a minute as well. Right. Hey, breathe in through your mouth, Joe. I remember. Yeah. 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 That's what keeps it in your mouth. You alright? Yeah. My snuffle's wrong. Oh, I feel like I'm gagging. Oh, lovely. I can do it. You can do it. I can do it. You've got all the gear on now. you just got to get the idea. Just pretend experience man is really good we both saw real turtles didn't we yeah. and now we've got rum punch I, I couldn't do the, I couldn't do the thing just yeah I do find the snorkeling a little bit claustrophobic but it's okay hello everyone good evening from me and mama and our salty beach hair that we haven't washed yet I feel a bit skanky to be honest because of that do you that's why I just put it in a ponytail because you can still kind of see the beachy waves or is it to be honest, it feels like more of a matted mess, but yeah. you know, whatever, we're going to wash it tomorrow. Yeah. Got my gold hoops on. We're going to primo tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Which yeah. is just down the road from us. And I've got this dress on, which is kind of like, I'll show you, it's kind of like a Skims dupe. Well, that's literally why I bought it. So it's not kind of, it literally is a Skims dupe. But it is, oh, why is it wonky? That's better. Um, yeah, I've got this like Skims dupe dress on. I mean, I felt the real version of this in Selfridges when I went there the other week, and it does feel very soft compared to this, but this is still really nice and soft, and I really like it. Oh, I just thought I'd stand back so you can see, but I don't really know if you can see. Can you see? I think you can. It's very soft, very comfortable, very light material, just not the same material as the actual Skims one, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, just when Mum's doing her hair, because I'm actually ready for her spawns. Um, I, doing the boat trip earlier, that was literally quite a bit, what was it, how would you describe it, Mum? Eventful. <laughs> it was eventful. We said, we put snorkeling stuff on. The annoying thing was that we couldn't really film a lot because obviously no. we were both in the water at the same time and you only had a certain amount of time to go swimming so it wasn't really long enough for you me to film, video. film Mum swimming or do what she was doing and then switch, you know? So we just had to both go at the yeah. same time. We went snorkeling and saw turtles right up close to our face. We saw it fly up, we saw it snorkel snorkeling in the water and then saw it like come up to the surface right in front of us. It was amazing. We saw um, some shipwrecks, we saw the turtles, which was the best bit. And then we had some lunch. Um, but the absolute highlight of the day for me was coming off the boat, swimming from the boat all the way to this beach that we'd docked at, well, docked near because we thought it looked really great, well, that'd be a nice swimming achievement of the sea that we've not done before. I didn't have, and I didn't have a name. Yeah, I had those like noodle floaty things, just in case. I actually mainly got it because I thought mum's not gonna realize how hard this is and I'm gonna get it so she can have this for help if we need it. And then I just used it because she seemed fine. But um, yeah, you know when you, I mean, I don't, I've never swam really in the sea apart from maybe once or twice and that's when you have a boat and you go out somewhere deep and then you swim and get back on the boat i've never really swum out to sea from the shore and then swum back to the beach and watching mum get out the sea well, trying to wrestle really with the waves playing. she fell over about four or five times when you're when it was literally about this deep the water that was it just because the waves come and they're so strong and obviously it's really uneven and rocky when you're getting out before you get to the sand oh my god it was the most funny thing although mum was laughing at me first because i got out first and she was behind me and 
her eye kept falling over my legs were literally in the air like this like big splits because and i tried so hard not to do that obviously that's the most unflattering embarrassing humiliating thing for all the people on the beach mum said she could see them as she was approaching to do the same thing but they were wetting themselves laughing on the beach with me so that was just great but i don't really care sandy i'm glad lane. i didn't know at the time anyway huh sandy lane wasn't it beach. i don't know if it was sandy lane hotel like the beach bit that we went to but it was definitely nearby there if it wasn't actually there um but anyway it was really really great but i just wish i could have filmed that but obviously because i literally was standing there watching mum trying to get out and it was hilarious and i could have filmed but obviously I didn't have my phone on because it just swam in the sea but anyway if you want to know the company that we did the crew the catamaran tour with please do put it in the comments because I, i'll tell you who they are because it was really good it was just under a hundred pound per person like between i think it was around 95 and you got like some coffee and tea in the morning drinks all throughout the day anything you want alcoholic or soft drinks um and they gave you some like coconut bread in the morning which was really nice then we had a lunch then we had some banana bread it was really great actually and i'd recommend it it was from nine you got picked up to pick up at nine there by ten and you're like back from the boat at three and then you get home about four so it is like an all-day thing but it was really nice and i'd recommend it i've never been on a catamaran before either i have burnt i mean that is really i don't know if you can really tell but I have burn on my arms. I don't know how this has happened though, it's like really patchy. And I, I have my arms completely clear all the time, so I don't understand what's actually gone on there. Really weird, but anyway. Mum's been laughing at me because every night so far, which has been two nights or three nights, I think two nights, I've been using my LED mask every night. I do a sheet mask to hydrate after being in the sun all day. And then when the sheet mask is off, I use this LED light mask. I do 20 minutes of red, and then I do 10 minutes of blue, and then I just pick five minutes from one of the other colors. They've got white, green, I think yellow, maybe some other ones, purple as well, which all do different things that I can't remember. But yes, yeah, so overall that's like 35 minutes. It's nice though, because when, you get, when you've got out of the shower, and you've done all your moisturising and everything, you just want to kind of lay there and chill. That's the most perfect time for me to use it. And I do actually feel a benefit oh, from it, so yeah. Good. What's happening? It's ten past eight. Okay, we're going to go to our dinner reservation now. Oh, perfume. I need to do my perfume. Guys, we're at the Primo restaurant and this is the view that we have. So lovely. We had some bread arrived that was like, I think it was onion and chive, which was delicious. And we had this like whipped butter. Again, really nice. Mum was actually looking at the menu for somewhere we're going for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> That's just the kind of people we are, really. I've ordered two sardines the main and mum's ordered the main salmon, I think. It's called Greek salmon. If anything says the word Greek in it, you best believe mum's ordering it. She loves a bit of Greek. Did we show you the Greek salad we had yesterday at Taboo for dinner? She loves the Greek salad. She loves... Do you love salmon? Mm. I've got fish tacos and octopus coming. Because that's the kind of girl I am. I said, I said to him, do you think that'll be enough for two stars? I said to the waiter. And he said, I think it'll be enough. You get three tentacles. And that was, that was nearly enough. To, the reminder that it's a tentacle was nearly enough for me to not order it. But I said, oh, well, yeah, that sounds like enough tentacles for me. <laughs> That's enough tentacles for one night. <laughs> one woman. Mm, that's a different joke. But yeah, anyway, we're enjoying the vibes. They've already said happy birthday to mum. So I put in the reservation it's her birthday, even though it's actually tomorrow. But you know, you can never have too many happy birthdays, can you? No, you cannot have them. As you know from the play, when you've got two birthday cards yeah. for British Airways. They've got lobster salad there, haven't they? Yeah. Lobster salad? Mm. Ooh. Do you remember when we had that? Yeah, yeah. I've only had lobster once before, I think. I don't know, actually. I remember the first time I had it, I was in. Did we go on holiday? Yes, that was it with Tara. Oh, sorry, I don't know, I just did that with my nails. Um, we went with my aunt to the Isle of Wight. Yeah, and we had this lobster salad, and it was the most horrible thing I've ever eaten. And I was so looking forward to it because obviously it's lobster and it's very 
highly rated and it was just awful. It was really not good at all. Really bland. Do you know what it was like? It was like, almost like if you grilled a prawn with no flavour, no anything, just plain like boiled prawn. It was almost like that. Prawns have got, prawns have got flavour, yeah. Lobster's got flavour as well though, but I don't know what that is. Because I think it was so bad. It was still It was bloody expensive as well. Yeah, it was. Wasn't cheap. It was um, fresh lobster on the beach of the Isle of Wight. Yeah, I mean, I love the Isle of Wight. It was lovely. Very... Very nice. That was in time. Yeah, that was when Sophie. That was, that, this, that was like ten years ago because Sophie. That, yeah, I think Sophie was six. That's yeah. my cousin. Yeah. Who, and, and this year in April she's going to be sixteen. That is really. I can't believe it was that long ago. That was a great holiday. You don't realise what holidays are going to be great that you look back on until way later on, do you? When it's happening, you're not like this is going to be a holiday we remember, huh? Yeah. Holiday with my partner and um, what partner? And, um, oh, the current partner. Yeah, okay. When we got there, when we went in the winter time, it was really cold, and the woman that owned the accommodation wouldn't let us put the heat on. She she said that no, I'm only going to turn it on when I feel it's cold enough. And what? Was, what made you think of that just now? I don't know. I think crap holiday. I don't know what I've... Oh, crap holiday. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, what on earth is making you think about that? Mum just told me I need to stop talking, so... I'll show you the food when it arrives. We're thinking that we're sitting in the birthday section because, um... Yeah. Quite a lot of stuff going on. And you're going to be next. How do you ah. feel? Okay, our food's arrived. I've got my fish tacos. Octopus and you've got the salmon. Mum wants some salt, of course she does. <laughs> but I must say, that has two tentacles, not three tentacles, like you said. But I'm gonna let it go because it does look and smell good. You got seen your tacos. Fish. I don't know what though. But fish tacos are meant to be really nice. I've never tried them before. <laughs> <laughs> oh we're having a <laughs> We're having another one. <laughs> we're having another one of our holiday laughing fits. Mum's just reliving how hilarious it was. Um, when we were trying to get out of the sea earlier, <laughs> and my legs were like literally like doing the splits. I was. I said to her, I bet I look like one of those synchronized swimmers. You did, <laughs> but not in a good way. <laughs> I just I remember oh, my legs being in the air, really <laughs> wide. Why were they wide? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember thinking, why can't I control my body? It's so shallow, but it's really taking me out. <laughs> oh, all you do is put salt on your food. Do you know what I just would like to say is, why is it that you, if you, if you, if you, why do you even say anything in your life? It's just your life. <laughs> Listen, what's your mum get out of the sea is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my whole life. Well, I didn't realise that wave was coming. I was, yeah, I didn't think I was like, oh yeah, I've got this, I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's way came from nowhere. I remember watching you, like, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've got one leg up, I'm up, and then all of a sudden you just wiped out. It was, it was like, you know that program, Total Wipeout? It was like, I don't know, celebrity, what's the, uh, get me out of here, cyclone, it was like a cyclone. Yeah, but do you remember that program, Total Wipeout, where they had to go over big red balls? Mm. It's like that. But obviously there was no balls involved. But, um, God, the people oh. on the beach, you know, I just don't know how the water is so strong at such a shallow depth. Yeah. Do you know what? It's not like that. Maybe because we were laughing. I think we were laughing. Let's get out. Let's get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let's get a video of you. I, I remember thinking, oh God. And when you finally got out, your hair was just all like. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Oh. Hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, I just I'm so annoyed I couldn't get it on recording. <laughs> but anyway, how's the salmon? Is it really salmon in <laughs> When I got in the water and my head my ponytail in the sea. In the sea, in the sea. I put the scrunch on the wrist and then I sneaked all my hair back in the sea. Oh yeah. <laughs> I look really good. And I went the beach when the beach and the waves decided to discard me. It's all like that. <laughs> All her hair was over her face. It was like 
She went from this look of triumph, like I've done it, I've done it, and all of a sudden, like, oh, oh. <laughs> and in an instant, she was on the ground. So do I. Where was my daughter laughing her head off yeah. on the beach? I didn't even over I'm on the shore I'm laughing at you. I drowned, but no, Amy, this was laughing. Nearly drowned? It was like an inch of water. No, it wasn't. Not to me, it wasn't. No, not to me either. I really thought once we got a certain way out, like to the shore, that's it. Easy yeah. peasy. Yeah. But absolutely not. No. Is that a little cat on the beach? Oh, it is, yeah. I've not seen a cat on the beach before. No. Mum was talking to this man on the boat that works there. What was he called? Chris? Yeah. And he was my age actually. Anyway, kept asking my mum's WhatsApp number. <laughs> <laughs> Which he didn't get. No, he forgot to ask him in the end. <laughs> <laughs> we ran off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a man on there that was very helpful with my shoes, might I say, wasn't he? Are you okay there? Do you want some help putting your shoes on? No, 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 I'm fine. Anyway, your guy. Yeah. Not my guy. <laughs> Unless but it wasn't my guy. <laughs> but anyway, I I he was chatting and I just walked off elsewhere for I'm just gonna go and enjoy the breeze out, <laughs> out on the catamaran deck. And I looked over and I saw mum chatting and I thought I bet she can't hear anything he's saying. I couldn't. <laughs> and after a while I could tell that I wasn't saying the right yeses and noes in the right place. <laughs> to make him so, think you know what he's saying. So, so I just said to him, I'm really sorry but I haven't got a word of what you just said. <laughs> and he just, started, he just started laughing. Yeah. And then he carried on talking I thought, I'm still not getting anything. I know. <laughs> That's the most fucking annoying thing though, because he's wasted all his breath. Mm. That's what annoys me. Do you think he was chatting you up? I don't think so. Yeah, but the thing is, he said, he got he said that me and him are so, me and mum are so hilarious, we should have our own comedy show. So if you want that, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> about the size of that on the floor right there and it has actually got arms and legs and was moving around just like a big cockroach or something anyway and mum we came in quickly mum put the do, the do not disturb sign was there she went quick put the do not disturb on the front so he knows not to come in she said she said quick he's gonna come in thinking it's party time <laughs> why are you so hilarious I don't know.